today i would like to show you this interesting case you can see i am checking the horizontal gaze of this 35 years old patient who presented to us with complaint of severe headaches for the last two months you can see the slight limitation of the right eye on abduction she also confirmed diplopia in that right gaze it means she has some right six nerve paresis it can be false localizing sign due to raised intracranial pressure or some pathology of cranial nerve six then i checked the vision it was six six both eyes pupils were round regular and reactive to light and convergence so on indirect ophthalmoscopy you can see severe disc edema with peripapillary hemorrhages both eyes when both ioptic discs are bulged edematous and swollen it is known as papilledema we rule out the causes of pseudo papilledema she was not hypermetrop there were no disc drusen there were no tilted discs and clearly you can see severe bulging discs with peripapillary hemorrhages so this patient which we first thought is just having benign headaches and now prompted us to do neuroimaging i advised urgent mr brain and orbit because when you find papilledema you should rule out the most dangerous cause uh, space occupying lesion and you should consider it until or unless proven otherwise by neuro imaging the other differentials uh, differentials in my mind was um, accelerated or malignant hypertension so i did check her uh, blood pressure which was 110 by 70 so we ruled out accelerated hypertension and in accelerated hypertension there are peripapillary cotton wool spots more common so it was a case of true papilledema with 66 vision and there was six nerve paresis as well so the diagnosis in my mind was the most common one and the benign intracranial hypertension which is the diagnosis of exclusion first you have to rule out all the raised icp causes like space occupying lesion here you can see clearly how much the intracranial pressure is raised so first you have to rule out uh, space occupying lesions uh, for benign intracranial hypertension uh, we took history there was no tinnitus uh, she was slim and not overweight uh, there was no history of antibiotics like tetracycline oral contraceptives or vitamin a so now here we are showing you the mr axial view you can see white uh, vitreous so that's t2 scans uh, vitreous is dark in t1 weighted images and white in t2 weighted images now here you can see the large hyper intense oval mass in the right frontal lobe right frontal lobe when you see the images it will be present on the left and you can find it in almost all frontal cortex scans so this patient had these worse headaches six nerve palsy and severe papilledema due to frontal cortex tumor when i consulted the neurosurgeon he confirmed it as a case of glioblastoma multiforme these are uh, flare uh, images uh, flare image is done with t2 it highlights the brain tumor very well when flare is done fluid like csf and vitreous is attenuated so they will look like t1 weighted images black but you should look at the gray and white matter in t1 gray matter looks gray whereas white matter looks white in t2 images gray matter looks white and white matter looks dark so that will remain same irrespective of the flare in t2 and uh, we have also shown like here you are seeing the axial scans 
we have also we will also show you these are the coronal sections so you can see the right frontal cortex glioblastoma multiforme on the coronal sections and we will also show you these on the sagittal scans so after the diagnosis was done the patient was referred to the neurosurgery department where they started iv mannitol and steroids to decrease the edema and then they will proceed for the surgery so just a glance at the fundus can save the life of a patient so always take importance to the headache complaint and always do fundoscopy thank you very much